Hello everyone, today we have a MacBook Pro 15 inch that is not turning on. The customer said that the MacBook died after using a bad charger. So we're gonna find out what happened to the MacBook. First of all, we are gonna plug in the charger using the tester to see how much the MacBook is drawing power to start our diagnostic. As you can see, it draws 5 volts and doesn't turn to 20 volts as it should be. And also the other port doesn't work at all. And on the other side, one is rebooting and the other is drawing also 5 volts. Now we are gonna try the same diagnostic steps, but without the battery, for safety measures. And unfortunately, it's the same. So let's see what under the microscope what we have here. As you can see, the CD3215 is burned and needs replacement.
won't explain what work was done here. Firstly, I had to replace only two CD3215 chips, sorry I didn't show the second one replacement process. Then as you saw, the U3000 was also burned from the charger. The U3000 is a USB-C or a USB 3.1 data and power diodes controller or a MOX DMOX switch. You can google on how this chip works. Also the diode that was on the input rail of the U3000 was burnt. As you can see on the schematics the diode D3003 is on the input rail from the connector to the U3000. Then after all this burnt chips replacement still the MacBook won't turn on. As it turns out the EEPROM was also damaged by the charger. The EEPROM is a chip that has boot files for the CD3215 to boot and talk to the charger to know what voltage or what device is connected to the computer. The EEPROM chip gets its voltage from the CD3215 chip and as a result of the damaged USB-C chip it damaged the EEPROM. The USB-C in the new MacBooks or should I say the CD3215 chips works as a master and slave type of thing. The master is connected directly to the EEPROM, while the slave reads the TBT room firmware that is in the EEPROM through the master. As a result, if the master is not working properly, the slave won't work either. And when one CD3215 in the system is bad, often it will cause others to not work as well, or they could also power cycling. So after all this job, let's test the board. So that will be it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more interesting repair videos. And if you have any other questions, just leave them in the comment section down below, or contact me on social media and I will try to answer them. See you next time.